Hi everyone, thanks for stopping in today. From the thumbnail, you can see I'm sitting. I'm doing this old school today. I just, I'm hurting so bad, my back hurts. I just don't know if I'm gonna film this today and I wanna get rid of this box. And once I take a look at everything, I will try it on and film it. It just might not be today. That's all I can say. I'm gonna take everything out of the box. Oh, that just ripped. Sorry. That's a little sneak peek there. Of your five items, you do get a USPS priority envelope to return what you don't love. You get an envelope with a card. Oh, hello. Your items, some style tips, and your style note. There. I'm going to put that away. <clears throat> Not look at it. And then this green paper here is your invoice. I just want to make sure this is 59. Yes, yeah, Stitch Fix 59. I will look at that later. Um, <clears throat> so let's just get right in and take a look at this stuff. And like I said, if I can't get to it today, I'll get to it over the next day or so. The filming of the clothing and then put it all together. First item, where's their tag? Is from West K. Um, Rosalind Relax Blouse Green a Medium. Oh gosh, no. No, 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 no. This is not me. Uh, new stylist is coming next box for sure. This is horrible. So this is this blouse. Look at these sleeves. Can you see like the ruffling? Like, I'm sorry. It's very long. Like it is like a curved. Oh, I can't pick it up. I cannot. Curved hemline. Too florally for me. The back is plain. This is not good. Oh my goodness, what is this? From Bo Boo, embroidered split neck top, navy, a medium. I mean, I don't know how many times I have to tell them I don't like this kind of stuff. No, no, and no. It'll all get tried on. Short uh, bell sleeve, not even short. That's a bell. And it's very, like, I can see the camera through that. It's very thin material. Yeah, that that is not me either. That's too no. Oh, Fortune and Ivy, Elena tie front, button down, knit top, olive medium. Mm, no, I could right off the bat. Here's that. Here's the front. No, I have told them so many times no to these types of sleeves. This is very stretchy. I don't care for the whole buttons. It's way longer in the back than it is the front. No. What do we have here? Oh, 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 this is a cardigan. Okay. Fortune and Ivy, Ivy, Layla Seamless Open Cardigan Blush Medium. So I'll show you the sleeve. Pretty. It's your straight cardigan. It's one of those super long cardigans. Like this is going to swallow me up. It's just maybe a little too long. It has a nice pocket. It's beautiful. I, I doubt that, though, because of the length. That was a shorter cardigan, um, possibly. Get rid of the paper. It looks like we have a pair of pants here. Studio Blue. I don't know if these are expensive or not. Sophia Utility Cropped Pant Navy Size 10. The 10s have not been fitting. They're too big, and I'm not a fan of the crop. Because they fall right at my ankle bone. And I don't like that makes them look like they're too short i don't like that that's not my thing nice navy navy blue cargo pant they're not did that say cargo or utility pant okay there's a difference um slash pockets which i'm always not a fan oh they're straight down back pockets you know your buttons that fly back pockets <clears throat> i mean they are they feel nice we'll have to see the 10 might be too big. Um, <clears throat> they've just been getting getting too big lately. So that's my Stitch Fix box. I'm going to put all this stuff with that. And I did get this envelope from Stitch Fix because I did exchange a pair of them jeans from last box. Even though, you know, I was like, no. So these are the 1822 denims ankle skinny. The gray, the dark gray. These are an 8 petite. And these are still kind of big. So I did try these on. And these just look so much bigger. Still, 
you know, straight. These were cuffed. I did take the cuff down. I don't like cuff. Um, I'm going to try them on again when I try all that stuff on. And if I still think, I think these are still too big. The cut has to be off. Um, the eight is even still too big. Now, I don't think, I know I've lost more weight, but I don't think I've lost that much. Um, I'll see. I don't, I'm not going to exchange them for a six. If I don't like the fit of these, I'll try. I tried them on fast. If I'm not happy with them, then I'll just send it back. I'll get a credit for what I spent. And that'll be that. Um, but I did keep, you know, exchange these because I really did like these. Um, and told that, still told her no, 1822 denim, regardless. Ever, 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 ever. And she's like, oh, I'll make you your account. I'm like, well, you, you were supposed to do that before, you told me. And I even sent her a screenshot of her note. I'm like, you cost me my any kind of discount last box. Crickets, not a word. I was like, gotcha, Taylor. This box game is your last one. You're done. I'm getting a new stylist. And I hope I love the next stylist and what she sends me. And I'll keep every item of clothing and give her the commission. I'm telling you, I've, I'm fit to be tied with these companies anymore. Not listening to you. Not doing what you ask. It's just getting out of control. So, that being said, today is Sunday. I know my head is not, my head space is not right today still. Um, if I can get to, to try on later, I will. If not, I will do it a different day, and I'll just combine it all together. Uh, those tops are a definite no. I'll still try them on. I will. I don't like any of them. And uh, I, I know the preview. I think I picked one or two things, and that was it. And it might have been the pants and the cardigan, because or maybe I just picked one. I don't even remember. But I know I did not pick them tops, because I always say dislike, 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 dislike. I don't know how many times I have to dislike something. Before they get the hint. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't wear that kind of stuff. So I'll be for you. It'll be just a second. And I don't know when I'll get back to the trial. But I'll be back. I have the first top on. <clears throat> Excuse me. From Fortune and Ivy. The Elena tie front button down knit top. I wonder if I just said it was Fortune and Ivy. Um, in olive medium, $42, a little bit expensive. Oops. So this is what it looks like. I just think it's, it's not, I mean, it's not bad. Um, I just, it's too long. I think, I don't think I would wear it, but it really is not bad. It's a little bit more comfortable than I thought it would be. I'm not generally a fan of this, this sleeve. Here is the back and there's plenty of room. It might be too much room, like a small maybe. I, that I don't, you know, I don't know. Taylor is still my stylist for this box. Unfortunately, she will not be for the next one. I am going to request request a new stylist. Um, <clears throat> so that's this top. I'm going to try this one on next. And we'll see what this looks like. Not a favorite, but we'll try. The next top is Bo Boo Embroidered Split Neck Knit Top. In navy and medium, $54. Well, that would be a big fat no, just on the price. I'm not a fan of the embroidery. The rest is like, okay, this doesn't necessarily, it's not my favorite type of sleeve, but it's not the end of the world. The split neck is fine. The material's a little weird to me because you can, I mean, I, you can see I have a white bra on. Should I have to wear a navy bra or a dark bra? No, um, at all. You can see the side, you know, the angle. Here's the back. I mean, there's plenty of room in it. Once again, I think sometimes too much and I have to maybe start trying some smalls. I mean, it fits nice in the shoulder. So uh, this is a no for me, um, but it really, like once again, first impressions, I was like, no, 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 no. It's still a no, but it's not as horrible. I just, like I said, I don't like that you can see right through the material. It's just not necessary in my opinion. So, and that, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> This I know I'm not going to like because this is not me whatsoever. So let's move on to this top. 
There's absolutely nothing I like about this one. <clears throat> and this is West K Rosalind Relaxed Blouse in green medium, $44. This is just too much for me. This has an elastic band at the bottom here. This is just, the colors are not bad. I'm not, I'm not into the whole floral thing. It's too long. It's too, too much, you know, there's the back. It's just too much. It does have the side. If you like tops like this, I mean, it does have like a, and when this, I'm not a fan of, like there's like layers of material, which you really don't notice them. It's almost like a, a jacquard print in it. Like it's really sewn threads though, isn't it? Something like that. Like all this, it's just too much for me. It's too, too blousey. I think the word, the right word is. So this is new. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to put the, uh, what do I do first? Hmm. I'll come back with something different on. No, nah, I don't want to do that. I will come back. Oops. And we'll give these a try. I have the Studio Blue Sophia U utility cropped pan navy size 10 60 dollars that is the prices are just out of control in my opinion i left this on because i want to try the cardigan on the fit is good it's you know i mean they are loose there is you know some room but i could overlook that um the pockets i thought they were slashed this way i like the straight down that's not bad they're actually cute i mean they look nice they're comfy pockets are a little high for me i mean they're almost at the top of the pan but that's okay they're very long pockets um the length for me is like right at my ankle and i don't like that because then you know put them in the wash and i like to throw them in the dryer are they going to shrink that then they're going to be too short like right now they're absolutely perfect but that's my always my concern with crop they might not shrink. I'd have to check the material and stuff like that, but that's still a lot of money for a pair of pants, in my opinion. $60, I just think that's not in my budget at all. I, I like them, I really do. These are not jeans, you know, and still be very comfortable to wear all the time, you know, casual, if you had to go out and put a nice shoe on or like even a booty and, a blouse a nice you know sweater a nice a nice top i think you could wear these pretty much all year round because they're not heavy like if you needed to put long pants on in the winter time i mean summertime you're going out somewhere and you needed to be dressed a little nicer i think you could pull these off instead of having to put anything too dressy on but let me come back i will try this on with this top on this way i don't have to and then I'll come back with my own clothes um, on after that. So let's go try this on. Okay, Fortune and Ivy Layla Seamless Open Cardigan. Um, blush Medium, $54. A little pricey. Um, I actually like it a lot. It's so comfy. I love the coloring. Um, I actually don't think I mind this one the length. And I don't know why. Usually I don't like a long cardigan. So as you can see, I mean, it is long. Um, I love the pocket placement. It's just right. Sometimes they're like way down there. I think it, like I tuck the shirt in a little front tuck. Like if I, I'm not going to keep these pants, but if I had jeans on or a nice pair of pants and like a blouse and threw this over, I mean, not these patterns, obviously. I feel like I'm getting choked. Um, I think this would be a cute outfit with a shoe or... Like even if you pulled a, like this kind of maybe, I don't know if that's cream or I don't know what color that is. Like, or even just a standard, you know, whatever color bottoms you have on booty, stuff like that. I think this would make a cute, cute topper. So I'm going to think about this for, for once and I generally don't do that. So I'll be right back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff off. And I'm going to try the 1822 gentleman once again and see what I think. 
Okay, so I just put my sweatshirt back on that I had on um, earlier today. It's big and oversized, but I, it's comfy. So I have the 1822 denim that I really do not like, but for some reason this pair I did like. They were a 10 petite when they came, and they just were way too big. The 8 petite is still slightly loose in the waist, but nothing that I can't deal with. I have belts. I can always put a belt on if I need to. I don't think that they're going to slide down. I have a whole bunch of tags like stuffed in the pocket. I think these fit way better. They're not super baggy in the leg like the other one. Um, I think the fit is good on these. Like I said, there, you know, there is room. I don't know if you guys can see. You know, there is room, but it's not like it's will lay flat against my skin. The length on these they are slightly too long because these were originally cuffed. I could put a little cuff on them if I need to, or I don't think they're like, they're not going to drag on the ground. Let's put it that way. So I think I'm not a hundred percent if I'm going to keep these. I, I like them and I know I'll get tons of wear out of them. Not just now, but I'll be able to wear them into next, you know, to the, the cooler season. Cause I will not wear jeans in the summer. I live in shorts. The minute we can wear shorts and the temperatures are staying where they're going to be for like late spring and, and summer, I don't put jeans on again until the fall when it's cold. Um, I might put a pair of leggings on if it's chilly, like in the evening or something like that. But usually if I have shorts on and it's a little chilly, I'll pull out a sweatshirt, put on a hoodie, something like that. And my legs don't usually get cold. It's usually more upper body for me. So I might keep these and uh, I think I will get lots of wear out of them. Um, I like that they're a darker, you know, it almost looks black, but they are gray. They're a dark gray. So I think um, like every single thing I own top wise would go with these. I don't think I have anything that would not go. It's a very neutral color. I have tons of shoes that I could wear and I could put, you know, sneakers on. I could put, you know, a, dre a dressier, like a little booty. I have tons of them. Um, I, I think I'd be finding these. So I, I, I'm tending to think I might keep these. But if I didn't like the fit or I wasn't sure, I can send this back, which was an exchange, with my fix. I don't have to send it back in a separate, um, you know, shipping or anything like that. I just send it right back with my fix and say, no. I, they still aren't right, and and they would go refund your money. But I, I'm almost positive I'll keep these. So let me, we'll do this right now if you want. So give me one second. I will come out of these and put my joggers back on. Okay, so to be honest with you, let's just go over some numbers before I go into anything. My stylus picks are $254. $254. Buy all discount of 25%. I would save $63.50. My box total is $190.50. I like my box total after discount to be about $150, $160 tops. But um, like I said, Taylor is will no longer be my stylist. I'm going to request a new stylist. And she's just missing the mark lately. And what she did with the denim. And then it was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll mark it down in your profile. Well, you were supposed to do that before and not send me two pair. And it was like crickets when it was like, well, you cost me my discount. And like nothing. So I'm like, okay, gotcha. I like these pants. I doubt, and I, will, I have time, I have about a week to think about it. I want to make sure I fold them. Nice. I, I don't know if I want to spend $60. I just spent $50 on jeans, and I'm going to keep the, the dark gray jeans. I'm not spending $60 on another pair of pants that I might not wear that much. This is a big no. This is not me whatsoever. Don't like it. I love the color, just not for me. I am actually considering the cardigan. I think this is adorable, and I don't know what it is. And why I like that one when I usually don't like a duster, like a longer party, but I like that one. Now, this one I did notice does have some pulls. And if I can't send them back, if I decide to keep this, I might ask them for a different one. And I'm not going to spend, um, let me see what that price was. Um, $54 when I noticed on one side of my chest there's a pull and there's a couple other on the other side, I'm not going to spend that kind of money um, with pulls already in it. This, um, 
is not horrible. I don't like the embroidery. I'm not a fan of the bell sleeve, the flutter sleeve, but I also don't care that it, you can see through it and I'm not wearing a cami underneath. I, I don't do that. So that's a no. And this overall is not horrible. It's a little too big for me. And um, I just, you know, I love Olive, but that's a no, no possible no on that top probably no on the pants so i'm really only thinking about the cardigan if i'm being honest i'm not 100 percent on the pants like i said 60 dollars for a pair of bottoms but i'm always not a fan of cropped length so um let me know your thoughts i'd love to know i like she missed on the tops altogether, and i did have screenshots because i screenshot my preview now because i want to see is she actually sending what up because you know you don't remember and I didn't pick any of those tops. I might have think I picked the pants. And maybe the cardigan were the two that I said to send. And I said I disliked or already owned something similar to the other items that were picked. And these tops are just, they're, they're just not me at all. She's done so much better in the past. So let me know what you think of the cardigan. That will be my biggest concern. The pants I can, you know, decide yes or no pretty easily. The cardigan I'm... I kept going looking in my, I have a full length mirror behind you and I'm like, is it too long? If I have a shoe on that gives me an extra inch or two with a heel, you know, then you see a little bit more of my, you know, it brings me up so then it doesn't appear to be as long, but anymore, I, you know, I just, if it's too long, you don't see any, is all you see is cardigan, but I think that is adorable. Like that would look nice dressed up, casual. I mean, maybe not with joggers and a, and a sweatshirt, but it is Sunday, and I spent the uh, weekend just basically chilling out. I had a little bit of filming to do, but um, so let me know that. Um, I also um, would love to ask this week um, for prayers for my best friend of 61 years. She just lost her father on Friday, who was a dear, dear um, friend and man to me, um, so it's just been a sad, sad, you know, it's been a long road for her. He was, you know, not well and, um, you know, came home and uh, passed away on Friday evening. And uh, I know her heart is broken and she is probably a mess. I, I wanted to give her a few days to settle into it and, you know, be at home because she's been with her dad by his side for the whole time. So I figured, I'll, you know, I'll get in touch with her. I'm, like I said, I'm filming this on Sunday. I'll, you know, I'll catch base with her in the early part of the week and see how she's doing. But say a prayer for her and her family for strength and guidance and, um, you know, just a little prayer just for comfort and all that stuff. And uh, it's just been a sad, sad weekend and, uh, you know, Friday night and Saturday a little bit for me was a little teary and just remembering and stuff like that um but it's always sad when you lose a loved one and you know for my girlfriend and her family you know they lost a parent uh, it doesn't matter you know the age you know he was 92 years young um like he told me he had a great run and um you still don't want to see them go and it's still hard you know to let them go so i would love some prayers for her and her family to get through this time um maybe a little bit more easily. So thanks all for watching. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.